guys, welcome back to my channel, TMNJ, this is another video. Um, my name is Taras Johnson, and uh, this video is basically on the benefits, the great factors of astral traveling. Now, not many people comprehend astral traveling, that's something I'll say. I probably have to make, I probably have to edit the video already made on astral traveling, I have to do it. Um, because the more I learn about astral traveling, the more, the more, the more, when it comes down to body experiences, the more you develop, the more you grow, the more you begin to experience new and different things and new and things that are like apps, like more than you could possibly, could possibly comprehend it. So I'll have to re-edit that video. Um, now when it comes down to things, uh, with actual traveling, one of the benefits I'd say is simply put teleportation. Now, what I mean by that is basically, um, if say you say you're in Jamaica, right, in the Caribbean, and you're in your nice house, or say you're, I don't know, New Jersey, in uh, Atlantic City, and you want and say you're in bed one day and you don't you don't want to go outside but you want to go somewhere new though and you're like trying to think about places to visit right and say you want to go to say the bahama say bahama breeze or say you want to go to uh, hawaii now you'd be very specific about where you want to about where in hawaii or rather not where rather where in hawaii but where, but um the exact place i mean my dad is if you, tr if you try to go to hawaii there are different parallel in the astral plane there are different parallel worlds of di different earths that include different hawaii's <laughs> so you have to be very precise about where which hawaii you want to go to literally um so basically you can send an intention and tell your, tell your subconscious and tell your consciousness okay we are going to hawaii in this world and you are able, to, the more you do it, you are able to have control, especially if you are able to create control within your own being towards basically controlling your direction and basically going towards Hawaii and you'll be there. So, so, so basically, and what happens, your consciousness travels outside of your being. So basically your, your eyes, your ears, everything, you travel. So basically you're able, you, your consciousness travels, right? And you're still, able, you're still able to hear and you're able to see things. You can't speak to anyone, but you can still think and still remember memories in your own mind. So you put now to continue on forward, to continue, to, to continue on forward, <laughs> um, when you do this, mind you, you can either be in their person perspective or first person perspective. When you might that is when you're extra traveling, um, their person perspective is literally in the spectator mode. Literally spectating from afar, looking at everything, and looking at the beauty, looking at the people, this and that, and this, the the scenery, all the all that jazz, and the first person perspective being that you can go into someone else's perspective, point of view. Technically, that is a invasion of privacy, <laughs> technically speaking, but either way, you're you're going to, you're at Hawaii, and you'd be able to basically hear everything the person that you're inside of will be hearing. So basically, you'd be able to. You basically be seeing what they're seeing, hearing what they're hearing, um, feeling what feeling what seeing what they're feeling, physically feeling. Um, you'd be able to hear their thoughts. You'd be able to feel what they're feeling inside themselves. So really feel the, the truth. So so you could tell if they were lying to someone or not. Um, but you'd have no control over anything else. Just be able to do these things and just so on. Now. The thing so that so the thing about teleportation is you can do that and then you can also if you choose to go somewhere else you can go somewhere else so say you're at Hawaii and you you're like okay I want to go somewhere else now you can go to Alaska if you choose or you can go to wherever else simply put um, at times there is a limit to this though um, either sometimes you're forced out because you're like you know, it's your time limit or two you can um, choose to you know leave the place of your own free will and go somewhere else and do whatever the hell you want to while you're out of your body. And so on. Now you can do this for a period for a long period of time. Actually, I've been out of my body for four hours straight. So 
That was lovely. Well, three hours straight, actually. The four hour one was actually an extraterrestrial exper experience. Um, where, I, where I met extraterrestrials and so on. Whilst I was trying to go through a natural traveling experience. That was something. Now, to continue on forward. The teleportation. Another thing you can do is... Again, you can do any, mind you, you don't, it doesn't differentiate where you can teleport, we can teleport to. You can go into the clouds, you can be in the trees perspective. So basically, you can go to a, in, into a tree and, and see everything the tree is seeing from all, from all different angles, literally. You can go into a cloud, you can go into an animal, you can go into any sort of object, it doesn't matter. Um, now, next thing, but I feel like it's only, no, it doesn't matter. Um, this, all that matters is that if it's, a, if it's a form of energy, that's all that matters. Now, next thing, next benefit would be you can time travel. Now, this is something I'd love to do. Um, that I've only experienced one time, though, which is sad. Um, but I'll be experiencing it more times than that one for sure. Now, tell, now when it comes down to... <laughs> when it comes down to uh, time traveling... It's not as indecisive as some people may think. Um, time traveling whilst astral traveling is incredibly unique. The concept of, for me, I was actually guided with my, through my guides helping me as well. Um, through my experience, I was able to go through, go through different timelines, histories, and see different things happening at once. I actually posted a video um, about my uh, time time traveling. Actually, um, going through different parallel worlds, different histories, even the history of this world, um, I was able to see different things, different 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 realms. Um, yes, you were definitely able to go through different timelines and see different all different things. Because I mean, yeah, in the because you, when you leave your body and you're in the astral plane, primarily speaking, when you astral project, you're heavily when you astral project, you're heavily in the astral plane. When you're in astral traveling mode, you're still in the astral plane. You you can decide if you want to go different places or not. So differentiation. If you want to really go further into the astral plane or not, that's all your choice. But um, more so, it's still the same thing except different given when you're astral projecting, you're really more so in the astral plane. When you're astral traveling, you're in the astral plane, but you're not in the same account. Why I say this is because, simply put, you can go to different worlds which, which exist in the astral plane, but you, the concept of you seeing different astral beings won't really be a concept that will happen at times from my own experience mind you um now to continue on forth when it comes down to things uh yes time travel is a thing that can happen you can i've actually seen the anunnaki um the beings that have been, been spoken of in ancient texts you know these beings that created humans and so on so yes i did see them it was actually pretty atrocious and terrifying not gonna lie to you guys um Another thing about, another benefit from astral traveling is the concept of, you comprehend nothing's impossible, literally. You comprehend that if you can do all these different things while out of body, you can do what, you can do different things when you're not out of body. Um, literally, like, sky's the limit. Literally, there's no, there's no limit that you can't do. There's nothing you genuinely can't do, literally. Um, it's like, before I astral traveled, I thought there were so many limits to the human world. And then I astral traveled, and then I did it more and more and more, exploring more and more. I've explored maybe like 20, 25, maybe 30 different worlds thus far. Um, I don't even, I, I don't keep count. <laughs> I never keep count. I just go through these experiences and just feel it. And... It's actually pretty interesting because it just shows you how much there is that exists in different worlds, that exists in your in your own world. And you begin to see reality differently. Literally, you begin to comprehend that, yo, you're the only person who can make things impossible. Because there are so many things that exist outside of this realm that you can possibly not even, you, you can, that so many things that you could dream of, so many things you could imagine. Anything you can imagine, you can literally do. Well, in a positive way, mind you. <laughs> um, the, other, the next thing next benefit would be debunking I guess you'd say 
the multiverse theory <laughs> and comprehending that yes this actually is true I was actually smoking one time um smoking weed <laughs> with a uh with a friend of mine and what a time ago and I was and he was talking about the multiverse theory and I was like like he was like you mean the multiverse theory, multiverse theory right and I'm like no 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 I looked at it, and we were in the car and I said to him like the multiverse theory does not exist it is true it's not a theory it's actually true because given the matter if you depending on how you look at it it's like you're going to different worlds same earth but different people well actually not the same earth different earths same planet but just different circumstances every single time different version of you every single time coming across different people you could see your mother your father and they could be older they could be younger they could be more ignorant they could be more educated than they are in your own reality it's literally like sky's the limit like there's nothing that's impossible you i've literally come across worlds where humans are shapeshifters and we turn into huge snake like beings i've come across worlds where these humans are vicious serial killers and so on like they just death isn't looked at as a huge factor it's just looked at as okay I'm going to kill this person and I'm going to kill someone else. And there's no remorse behind it at all. Um, so I guess a bunch of psychopaths, I guess you could say. <laughs> um, yes. A lot is shown when you actually travel and you go out of your body. Um, a lot is understood when you do these things. Like It opens you up to seeing all the possibilities of this world and to understand that not, the, not, not just the concept of things aren't, things aren't impossible, but also the concept of actually give me a second but also my throat was so dry but also the concept that how much I know where it is you make up your own reality, basically. When I, what I mean by that is, basically, in this world, right, you look at your, we look at our reality in, every, in different perspectives, right? When you astral travel, you're able to see, you're able to see someone else's reality in your own perspective, but also able to feel it from their perspective as well. Literally. So things that you find different odd weird they find to be entirely normal i've literally come across a world where he's again um it was uh my mother was talking about something well a different version of my mother was talking about something and she put some sort of st she, she asked me to put some sort of stick the other version of me she asked the other version of me to put some sort of stick into her bag and apparently the stick went all the way into her bag. And, it's, and like the stick was like this big. And her bag is like this big. <laughs> and it went all the way down to her bag. And the other version of me just was like, okay, this, this is just, this is, this is normal to them. Like it wasn't complex. It wasn't weird. It wasn't strange. It was normal. So you begin to comprehend the differentiation between what weird is and what normal is. And that, that no matter what people may say towards you, of all oh, your weirdo, this, and that, and this. To, what you're doing is normal to you. And not everything is going to be normal to everyone. Simply put, everything is very different in everyone's pers perspectives. And astral traveling really shows you that. That everyone's perspective is very unique and, and intricate in its own way. Um, so yeah, that's definitely a, benef a huge benefit of astral traveling. That you get to really see things differently. And also the concept of... You, you stop making, you stop looking at things in kind of like a logical way in a sense. What I mean by that is when I started astral traveling, I looked at things in a logical way at first. And then I learned that you can do that, but you won't really be getting much. What I mean by that is. Uh, excuse me. Nothing in this world, nothing in your world, 
I mean, my bad. Nothing in this world, nothing in other worlds is logical. Simply put, it's all it all makes sense because we've made it make sense to us, literally. So technically speaking, none of it literally genuinely makes sense at all. I remember I was looking at English one time and I was saying something repeatedly, and I was like, "This doesn't make any sense." And then I looked at Japanese and I was looking at the guy that I was studying, and I was like. This doesn't make any sense, but it does make sense. And then I had to comprehend that nothing in this world truly really makes sense in truth. No, nothing really does when it comes down to it. It's just that we are, are we're imprinted on to make it, to have it make sense in general speaking. So the concept of logic is truly not even a factor at hand in general speaking. Literally, logic does not really technically exist at all. We just made it. Ha we 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 humanly made it a a factor for us to live by. Simply put, for our own existence to understand things more, in our own ways of depth and comprehension. Simply, so I was able to comprehend that when I went to different worlds because I looked at things in a logical sort of way, and I had to comprehend. And I, as, as, I said, as I said in every single video I've made about astral traveling, I say I said all the time that. I try making logical points in my own mind whilst looking at all these different events occurring out of like back and forth and so on. And I pause and say it every time I'm like, I don't see what's the point in doing this. And I laugh about it because it's the funniest thing because nothing is logical in any sort of world ever. Like nothing is truly logical in truth. It's just the way, it's just the flow of the universe. Literally. It's just how things are in truth. Literally. You just take things as they're given to you. When you and I, I mean that in a practical way and in a, in a very impractical way as well. The more you, t the way I looked at it, the more I put logic into my astral travel experiences, the more I didn't get much out of it. But when I took it as things were given to me, not at face value, but like in a more depth to comprehend, okay, this is what I'm saying. This is this experience. The more I began to enjoy it and really see that, yo, this is spontaneously amazing. Literally. That's why when it comes down to things that happen in this world, now, the more I've done, the more I've left my body, the more I look at things and I'm like, and I'm like, logically, like I literally will say, like, logically speaking, that doesn't make sense. Logically speaking, it makes sense. <laughs> literally. But more times than less, though, I won't look at things in, in, in any sort of way. I'll just be like, yeah, it's what it is. Human people are people. Why? Because everyone's logic, everyone's illogic factors are all different. And this world goes upon both factors, which technically is a yes and no at the same time. There's logic and there's, and there's no logic. It's just literally the principal, the principal way of how things flow, simply put. So that's also something that happens when you have to travel. You begin to open your eyes to more extremely interesting things that you wouldn't have thought before. Um, so yeah, your mind begins to change and begins to mold differently. Um, also, some, another benefit from, from astral traveling is towards the process of even getting towards out of body, you become more patient and more self-disciplined. Literally, the more you do it, the more you become more patient with yourself. Because astral traveling isn't easy to do. It's literally you not focusing on your thoughts, not focusing on your breathing, but knowing to like slow your breathing down as well. And the moment, and not have, not focusing on any sort, any sort of control of your muscles either, but just to flow and be, simply put. And the more you do that, the more you're able to leave your body. The more you do that, you're able to actually enjoy your life more in depth because humans have an issue with control we love to control our muscles a lot we love to control our thoughts a lot we love to control a lot of things and when it comes down to even our breathing right and when it comes down to things it's like the best experiences come when you're not trying to control everything around you the more you control things the more it makes things unmanageable and unbearable to go to go about doing things because you're focused on being a literal control freak and when you're not in control you you start to lose it because you don't like being you start to get infuriated because you at times not saying all people go, go get, get the same way when they no longer have control of something that it's like hey 
the I know of control, I'm, I'm mad or I'm upset, whatever the hell you're beginning to feel. And then you begin to go on a very irrational tandem, whatever sort. So it's like it teaches you a lot of self-discipline about yourself, about your reality, about it also increases your age you and increasing your awareness. And I'd say it aids it's aided me in enjoying this life a lot better and understanding the astral plane and how the things work outside of our realm a lot better than usual. Because from even time traveling, I was able to understand other species. I was able to understand the Nephilim, the giants. I was able to understand the elves. I was able to understand other humans more in depth than I did before. Sorry, my hair got into my eyes, so I'm like, I'm really rubbing it out. Um, and yeah, it was just a lot to experience. And I think that's all. Um, oh. Your abilities potentially begin to increase, as in your clairvoyance, your clear audience. Um, again, you can remember things while you're also traveling. So it's like you can literally. What I did actually, my recent experience was I actually imagined a variety of different things, and it was like when I imagined these things happening, it was like it was it was as though I began to astro project in the sense and like began to have a physical form. In some sort of way, so that was really interesting to me. Like, it was like I could like it was like I'd I'd envision my, um, my hands like my body beginning to disappear and like come back and disappear and come back and do do the same thing. As in, as in disappear, I mean, as in like um, when you're burned to a crisp and your, you know, your body starts to like you know diminish and turn to ash and like you know, but the wind like taking everything away. Yeah, so like that literally. So it creates a lot. So it aids a lot of. Your imagination, your imaginative skills, and your clairvoyance towards seeing things that, seeing beyond the realm what you usually will be able to see, and so on. So I'd say that's definitely a huge thing that um, your clairvoyance and potentially your clear audience, your clear sentience, and your clear cognizance can all possibly be increased, eh, increased when you do leave your body, whether it be astral projection or astral traveling, highly astral traveling, I'd say, because. Astral traveling literally goes towards sight. Sight and hearing things, primarily speaking. So clear audience and clairvoyance. Literally. I was able I was actually able to hear it last I was actually able to uh see a version of me die. Which aided in also the hold on a second. Which also aided in the contemplative factors. Sorry, I have like allergies all year round, guys. So it's like I'm about to like, you know. <laughs> Bet me stuffy a little bit, but um, yeah, so it's bound to aid you in the concept of seeing more than you usually would be able to see, increased abilities. Um, what the hell did I just say previously? Oh, yes, death. Um, I literally felt the other version of me die. I was literally like, literally, I was witnessing it from first person perspective, and I wasn't, I wasn't afraid to witness it either. It was like I was, I was, I was flowing. I was just flowing. Again, you get more into the flow of the universe. You just flow with things. You're patient. And you're just like, okay, cool. This is just happening. And I wasn't afraid. Like before when I was about to die in the, in the universe, in a different world, I was really afraid. And I left. I came back to my body. In this world, I just, I watched it happen slowly as my, as if other version of me start with slit. And I just, I could feel the blood, like I could feel, um, the blood going down his throat as he was dying and I could feel him speaking his like last words as he was, you know, struggling, you know, to stay alive. Um, in his, his last moments. And I could feel that like, even though he was dying, he wasn't afraid to die though. He was more in the contemplative mindset of like, yo, there will be others like me who come after me. Like after his death, that will avenge him or like make things better. Um, towards what he was trying to do after he's gone. So it gave me a sensation of like not being afraid of to see death, not be afraid of witnessing it, witnessing it towards my own self and kind of shrinking any sort of fears or anything like that and to just be really calm and just let the experiences happen as they happen and to learn from them. And that experience, like again, natural traveling really aids you and also learning different experiences. 
um, different ways of reacting to people, different ways of comprehending things, and so on. If you're not really a comprehensive person like that, it aids you in, analy in analyzing things and seeing things in a different way than you did before. So that's something to really take into mind. But, um, yeah, so that with that being said, guys, um, that's that for this video. And I love you guys. And jamais.